hello everyone yoke gang how are you guys today we are going for us a little hike we are in the florida everglades big cypress national preserve yes and as you guys just saw those are some trail cams of the actual activity that we have out here we have florida panthers we have deer we have turkey we have gators and i'm almost positive that there's hogs out here we got florida bears we have just an abundance of everything and it's been doing a lot of raining lately so i'm sure there's all types of snakes and creepy crawlies on the ground but that's not here nor there i understand that the panthers the florida bears and all these animals there are protected i'm not coming out here to hurt anything or you know do anything out of the way like that but i am choosing to protect myself and i will be protecting myself with the glock 29 I chose the Glock 29 because it is more compact than my Smith & Wesson and my um, XDM. So, um, we're ready. She's hot. I need to, let me put some boots on. I'm putting on some boots this go around because like I said, we've been having a lot of rain and I just want to take that F extra step of precaution and, um, you know, protecting myself while I'm out there. Now, if you guys are planning on doing this, just make sure that your phone is charged, your location is on, so that if anybody, if anything was to happen, somebody can find you. So make sure your phone is charged, you're protected, and I don't know if you can hear all that racket out there, but we are right off of I-75. Yes, I-75 runs through the Florida Everglades, and that is where we are. So let me wrap this up and i'll head to the gate okay so this is what my outfit looks like today we got on our boots of course our yoke gang t-shirt can you see that yep and some tights that's all i don't know if you can tell but this is a long sleeve yoke gang t-shirt if you like it if you like it let me know and we can add this to our inventory but we are getting ready to walk in but first i want to just give you a little quick look as to you know what it is or what it is that you can expect when you do come out here all right this little um i guess this will be a little shed for emergency assistance you contact that number and i guess this is just a board information board to let you know what's going on in the wildlife management area we got turtle watch. Oh, and grasshoppers. Oh, they doing their thing, ain't they? <laughs> yep, that's what it is. And that's what you can expect when you first um, come out of the parking lot. And there's a fence. Yo, why is there a fence? There's a fence because there's so much wildlife that needs to be contained so that, see, nothing ends up on the highway over there. All right, when I get a little closer, we'll bring you. Okay, we're approaching the gate. And I know you probably can't see much of anything that's on there, but it does say, gate must be closed after each use. Then you have a warning for bears. You can see that. Yes. I did say I brought in my 10 millimeter. This is not for any animals. This is for my protection. And we are going to grab one of these sticks right here that the hikers have left behind. Oh, the gate didn't close. There you go. So we're gonna grab one of these sticks that the hikers, previous hikers left behind, and we're gonna use this and of course, leave it behind before we leave. So this is the entrance to the Florida Trail. So there's quite a few trails in here. You have the Blue Trail, Red Trail, Yellow Trail, and Nobles Campsite. And then this right here is a blaze. And we'll talk about that a little bit more um, when we get further in. All right, I only have two hands. <laughs> All right, so we're in, and I'm going to show you another kiosk that's here where it's pretty much a map and lets you know where you're going and what your options are and what it is that you can do here. So this is it. 
And these are our different trails. Please sign in. Thank you. We're not signing in because we're not hunting. But that's what it looks like. And um, again, I just want to emphasize, I, I am armed, but I am not intending to hurt anything. I'm sure the animals will be more scared of me when, um, or more interested in getting away from me if I do run into anything out here. Um, I'm just more concerned of running up on somebody and um, running up on somebody. Um, people have gone missing, um, people have been found unalive, and um, I just want to make sure that I'm safe, okay? All right, so we are on Nobles Road right now. That trail cam that you saw a moment ago is um, where a lot of the sightings that we saw is on this road that we are on now. This is Nobles Road. It's not a literal road, but you know what I mean. So let's get in and we'll keep chatting. All right, like I said, this is Nobles Road. The trail cam, like I told you before, is where we picked up a lot of activity with the panthers, the deer, and I don't know if there's turkeys, I'm not, I don't remember, and turkey. So this is probably, well, let me begin by saying this. I only have about two hours left in, of sunlight. So I'm gonna try to hike in at least two miles and try to get out as quickly as I could before it gets too dark and I get caught up in here. <laughs> So I hear a lot of grunting, gator grunts, but that's fine. All right, it rained earlier, so the humidity is on 1,000. Um, I thought long sleeves would have been a good choice because the mosquitoes are also flying ponies in Florida, and they disrespectful. So let's try to keep my arms good, my legs good. So how are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. But just taking all this fresh air and just the scenery in is, is so relaxing and just refreshing in itself. And I'm really enjoying this, I always do. All right, I gotta keep stopping to bring y'all back in. It's not, seems like the sun, it, oh. Oh, I'm trying to stay focused on the ground as well as talk to you guys, but look what it is that I just found. You see that? It's a paw print. But I don't see any more. Did he go that way? Oh, is that a tomato? Oh, too bad I can't zoom. Wait, let me get my stick, my Rafiki stick. You see that right there? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, interesting. I know that there's a lot of, you see that? There's a lot of something that we call cocoa plums in the islands. Cocoa plums come purple and they come white and i oh here we're coming up on one now this is a cocoa plum bush is what i call it and these are the leaves so if you ever run up on something like this and you see any purple berries or white berries on here you can eat them you got a huge grasshopper in there you can eat them they have a white flesh on them with a pit and they are very very nice these mosquitoes are quite disrespectful they're trying to bite me through my pants and my shirt but yes this is why i enjoy this not only is it just fresh air but it's just so relaxing and just becoming one with nature 
is it's plus plus oh yeah told you my stick would have me feeling like Rafiki my Rafiki stick <laughs> if you don't know who Rafiki is you got to check out the Lion King yes but it's so peaceful just look look there's nothing here but us well and them if they want to come out and say hello just us but like i said i only have a few not even a few a couple hours it's now let's see almost seven o'clock so let me get down to i think we're gonna take the blue trail so when we walk up on our blue blaze i'll let you know i'll bring you back in and show you how those blazes work all right all right so we made it to those blazers i blaze not blazers blaze that i told was telling you about and you can't see this i understand we have red trail straight ahead and I can't read the rest, but we're going to hit blue trail. We are going in the woods. It's going to get nice, <laughs> really nice in there. And all you have to do is pretty much just follow those blue tags on the tree. So every now and again, you'll see a blue tag on the tree and it'll let you know that you're going the right way. And if you see straight ahead, there's a blue tag. All right, we are in the blue trail. And this is where stuff gets very interesting. That's a blaze that's letting me know I'm going in the right direction. I had to ditch my Rafiki, my Rafiki stick because it was just too much going on. Me trying to use my hands and be comfortable. So I'm a lot more comfortable this way. And the breeze is picking up, which is a good thing nice it's cooling off it was like 90 degrees when i pulled up but i think it was mainly that hot because it had just rained so it was very humid but yeah see that i love this oh that breeze feels so nice and we have another blaze again so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep following them and these blazes will take you to your destination. If you're here to camp, it'll let me lift this up just a little bit. Take you to your site. Very cool. I'm watching the ground because I don't want to step on or over any snakes. All right, looks like we got our first little minor obstacle. We did have a whole lot of rain. I'm glad I did wear my boots. Thanks. See that the water's kind of receding over on the sides. Perfect breeding grounds or hiding places for water moccasins. So boots are important. Very important. I think the, the freakiest part of all this is just hearing, you know, little sounds and stuff when you're walking. And it's nothing but the stuff falling out of the trees, but look at that. That is not just moccasins, just gators too. You know, gators just need a little bit of water and they're comfortable. Just a tiny bit. And this over here looks a little deeper. See that? Hopefully we catch something. Let me check them out. All right, let's get through this. I think what's most impressive behind all of this is the wildlife that actually walks these trails when the sun sets and we're sharing these paths with them. That's why I say hopefully something comes out and we get a glimpse besides these mosquitoes, but get to see something 
I think that would be well worth the trip. Oh, it's thundering now. I think weather's gonna move in. It'll be refreshing, that's for sure. But, uh, we're getting in there. It's getting thick up here. If you can see behind me how thick that is. And these palmettos, the leaves on the palmettos, they're like razors. So if you run your hand across them or your arm or leg or whatever, they will like actually cut you. All right, so let's do it. We got this. Check this out. This is limestone. And you see all type of stuff. Oh, look how thick that is in here. Keep them eyes open. Because it's thick. Very thick. Right, let's spin this around. Because I kind of have a visual behind me <laughs> when the camera um, is facing. When I'm using the front face, I can see in the back of me. But yeah. You guys enjoying yourself so far? I am. All right, let's, oh, look, we got some more water. It's not too bad. gator oh, all right so my watch just informed me that I am a mile away from my truck we are pretty deep <laughs> getting in here and just got a little bit more water here all right the weather is changing quickly i'm just waiting on some raindrops and there they are but look at this i've never seen this before crawfish is that what that is let's see i think so yes they are crawfish but where would they come from? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So here's another one of our blue blazes. And here is telling me we have one mile to Carpenter Camp. And um, yeah. <laughs> and it's raining. So I don't think I'm going to. Well, it depends on. Um, how much it holds up will determine how far I go in. All right. All right. It is raining, but we're going to keep going. It's actually cooled off a whole lot more. The hike has become more comfortable, so I'm all right with it. Um, we might have an hour of sunlight left. Let me see. Yeah, we think we have a little bit over an hour of sunlight left and we've been walking not too too long so i should be able to get back to the gate before the sun goes down but look at that weather it's coming in all right we thick in here oh the rain feels nice and cold <laughs> All right, long as you keep seeing those blue markings on the trees, you're going the right way. We're deep up in here now. All 
All right, I officially have one hour before sundown and um, I am over a mile in and I believe I am going to get caught in here when the sun goes down. So I know y'all don't want to miss that. I need y'all to stick around with me um, because right now you guys are all I have to talk to. So um, let me preserve as much of this as I can and we'll be back. All right. I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to keep going until I feel like, whoa, it's starting to lighten and stuff now. The rain is picking up, but this yoke and we're going to do this. I am going to go in as far and as much as I possibly can. Mother Nature, thank you for the cooling off session. But I'm gonna need you to hold the sun up just a little bit longer for me. <laughs> All right, we got two more blazes. All right, yo gang, we are officially caught in it. It is, we're well over a mile and a half and the rain is coming down. It is lightning like crazy. And you guys got to stay with me to get out of here. All right. So I am still wanting to keep going just a little bit more just because it's opening up so pretty. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. And, um, but let's go about another 100 yards and then um, we'll decide if we're gonna turn around. Let's go. Oh, it's getting nice now. Look how nice that flat, is that, is that being considered a flat limb? It's just an open field. Again. New blazes. Woo. Yeah, this is it's intense, but it's fun. And checking out, making sure I can see more tracks. I keep track to get them for you. But yeah, I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> we just went about another hundred yards. I'm officially a little over two miles in. Um check that sky out the rain is coming down it's lightning um y'all can't leave me as you can tell i don't have no cameraman i'm trying this on my own um but i got to get back to the truck so don't go i got to get out okay so we're gonna go ahead and turn around and we're gonna hightail it to the truck all right i told y'all i was two miles in the sun, if the sun don't catch me, the overcast is really going to make it darker, faster, uh, because it's so cloudy, because it's raining. Y'all know we got all type of stuff out here. Um, I was a little more comfortable and okay earlier, but the sun is going out on me. So I, I got to get back to the truck. Um, this boot is hurting my toe, but we're going to do this. Don't leave me. Okay. All right. It's raining hard now. I'm soaking wet. Uh, at this point, I'm not even in too much of a rush. I saw that. Too much of a rush to get back. Um, because it is what it is. I don't want to risk twisting my ankle trying to um, run or, or anything out of here. So we're just going to get back as quickly as we can and be safe all right so don't leave me all right i'm so i'm trying to make sure my clock stays dry um but look that's about as hard as it's raining but it's not no average raindrop these are like Tsunami raindrops. <laughs> um, hey, open my keep my eyes open. And it's lightning. It's lightning, so I'm gonna keep my arms down and we'll I bring you back in a second. Alright, I cannot tell you how long I've been walking. Let me check my watch really quick. Alright, I officially have like 30 minutes before sunset. This is 
I wasn't expecting this. They said rain earlier, which I know that it probably happened earlier, but I didn't um, foresee this. Look at that. I did not foresee this at all. <laughs> but that's what makes it fun. And hey, you just gotta take it all in and take what Mother Nature gives you. very thick in here we're gonna document this just in case something happens to me <laughs> whoever finds this we know exactly what happened but we're gonna make it out we're gonna make it out i gotta find that rafiki stick too to make sure i feel good I don't know if you notice it's getting darker uh, but I got a long ways to go um I <laughs> I'm not feeling afraid or, or anything like that but my feet are starting to hurt my boots are full of water um I am feeling like I'm get it's starting to get the best of me but of course we're not gonna give up because we have to get out of here um but Look how the trees are swaying. Look how they're moving. You probably can't tell because of the stabilization in the GoPro, but those trees are swaying and it is lightning and I'm ready to go. So let me get out. Oh, and the temperature's dropping. It's getting cold. So let me hurry. Boots are full of water. This is not cool at all. But we gotta get out. I ditched my Rafiki stick. Here it is. I'm gonna take this back and leave it for the next hikers. Ugh. All right, I'm coming up now. Let me see. Oh yeah, the road. What I was telling you about, where the trail cams caught all the panthers. Even though the panthers and everything else is still. Um, they're not isolated to no specific spot, but this is where we caught um, those animals on the can. So I'm almost there. I need to get myself situated really quick. I need to, my boots are full of water again. And, oh. Uh, almost there, yo. Almost. It's almost like they have a hole in it or something. All right, I officially have less than 10 minutes of daylight. The clouds, even though it may look bright out here, it, it's really not. The camera is not giving you any justice but we're gonna get out of here you hear my boots they're full of water once again we're gonna get out i hope you guys can hear me well my mic is completely soaked my mod is wet um so hopefully Woo! I don't know 
Oh, you guys saw that. Oh. Yeah, it's time to get out. Mother Nature, just give me a few more minutes. Of... But yeah, this is how we're looking. It's behind me. Like I said, it's a lot easier for me to feel safer because I can see behind me as I'm walking. Let me wipe this off really quick. Is that okay? I can see behind me, shit. But the rain is coming down. I'm gonna speed up the pace. Like I said, I can't risk twisting my ankle. There's a lot of limestone down here. But we gotta go. I'm exhausted. The rain held up. I still got a lot of road ahead of me, quite a bit. The sun is setting, as you can see. I'm just tired, I just need a break. And it's lightning like crazy, but we gonna get out, because obviously I'm not gonna stay here. <laughs> but I just need a few minutes to just get myself together, because that was, that was wild. That was wild. All right, so the rain has held up. My light is kind of obstructing my my view ahead of me. I am up to my ankles in water and my boots is lightning like crazy, but I'm still smiling because I know I conquered this. I went in not knowing what to expect, what I was gonna see, what I was gonna run into, whatever it was, didn't know what the conditions were gonna be, um, and came out soaking wet and conquered it conquered it i am i'm stoked i'm excited um, i'm not sure how much longer i have uh, but we are on uh, nobles road which is um the way out so hopefully we can maintain this little bit of light that we got left and the lightning for sure would give us some light but yeah, we did it. Well, I shouldn't say that until we get to the truck. <laughs> All right, now I got to get to the gate. We just passed our first kiosk, the one that I showed you in the beginning. I know you can hear all this squashing <laughs> with the water in my boots, but I am not quite out of here yet. And I'm still trying to focus ahead of myself. We're almost there, almost done. But I can appreciate all of the rain. It, I mean, minimized the mosquitoes almost to none. You had one or two um, gangster mosquitoes that still was flying, oh, see? Flying through the weather and managed to bite me, but it was refreshing and I had a great time, so. Let me see, I believe I'm walking up to the gate. I can hear the vehicles. I told you we were right along I-75, Big Cypress. All right, let me see. Oh, we made it! There's the gate. There's the gate. Let me put my Rafiki stick down. Thank you, fellow hikers. Thank you. And let me get out of here. Oh, it's dark. Let me close this gate. Okay, make sure it's closed. All right. Big Cypress, you owe me nothing. Thank you. We did it. It's the dark. dark. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm not wrapping this up. I'm getting to the truck. We'll be back. All right, we made it out just in time before them big animals start roaming. <laughs> I totally enjoyed this. I enjoyed 
every bit of it just because it was so unexpected everything that was happening um it was great but again that's my third or fourth time emptying my boots we literally had water up to my ankles in the boots at one point in time but i had a blast thank you guys for joining me y'all i keep showing y'all i keep telling y'all check out www.yokegang.com i think i'm official i think i'm all right i think i have proven myself to just conquer fears you know if it was something that you was thinking about or something that you were out out mosquitoes <laughs> just conquering um anything that it is that you you felt like you couldn't do or you wanted to do or whatever whatever it is just try it yo gang again thank you guys for joining me on another one of my crazy adventures i love you guys to pieces check out the merch at www.yokegang.com y'all know i love y'all for life peace